previously on Cambridge Drive. And now that you're all caught up, let's continue, shall we? Some wood out of my wood corner here. Well, this one's knotty. It's walnut. Get it? Okay. So it's got a frame. I think the frame looks very wonderful. Woo! Woo! It's very late. I want to let this epoxy kind of set overnight anyway. And as you can see, I have lots of cleaning up to do. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. And hey, scratches. Turns out if you put it on its uh, face, it gets scratched up if you move it around. I knew that. Oh. I just went through and sanded all of the visible imperfections out. It took a long time and a lot of sandpaper, but now I'm going to wipe it down and it should be pretty good. At Lowe's, looking for some sandpaper. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Oh, two, three thousand. Use three thousand so we can buff. Now to find LEDs. All right, I got some lights from Lowe's. Yes. No. Moment of truth. All right. It looks great. Did I mention it's dimmable? When you only want a little bit of sunshine.
guys, thanks for watching my video. If you haven't seen it already, check out part one of Monument Valley, how I got all these textures and shapes. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to support me and help my channel grow, all the affiliate links to the products I used in this project are in the description box below. Again, thanks for watching my video, and I have a funny feeling that next week's project is going to be made from scraps as well. So check that out.